I'm Kristen Apple and welcome to my huge fall favorites haul and a shout out to Anna, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Anna Vasquez. Uh, thank you so much for requesting this video and I'm going to do all the non-clothing items first and then all the clothing items so let's get started. First some food items. I've been eating a ton of these candies. Um, these are candy corns. I'm sure you've heard of those before and these are mellow cream pumpkins. These are two of my favorite snacks. Um, I eat them a lot when I'm like doing homework or studying or like right now. <laughs> Another favorite food item in the fall time is tea. Um, again, when I'm doing homework or studying, unfortunately, in the fall once school starts, I, it's what I spend a lot of my time doing. And I'm also working while going to school, so yeah, I'm just very busy, but when I have some time to relax, I like making some tea. So these are all Bigelow brand, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I have apple cider. I love hot apple cider, and this is great because it doesn't have caffeine in it, so you can even have it late at night. Um, but if you do want some caffeine, there is a little bit in this pumpkin spice and also in this salted caramel. I think so far my favorite is the pumpkin spice. I think I've had the most of those. And then moving along to favorite items sort of for school. Um, so in my backpack I've had my sweet cinnamon pumpkin pocket back and hand cream. And one of the main reasons I love having these, you know, aside from fighting germs, um, I get, I, don't, I feel bad saying bored in class, but like I have one class that is three hours in a row. Like that's a long time to just sit and stare at the teacher. So when I need like a little mental break, I take my lotion out of my bag because you can put it on while the teacher's talking. She doesn't get mad. Like you still look like you're paying attention, but in my head, I'm smelling that lotion and I'm just like imagining then I'm walking through a pumpkin patch, and then I put it back in my backpack and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in class. But yeah, it's just like a nice little escape. <laughs> so I like carrying those. And then also in my backpack for school, I've been loving cinnamon trident gum. I went to the dentist recently and the dentist told me that this gum is ADA approved. Basically just look for the ingredient xylitol. I don't know if you can see that, but that's like cavity fighting, good for your teeth. So. And I had no cavities, yay, but um, yeah, if you want dentist recommended gum, get that. And then also, because it's back to school time, my favorite pencil is Ticonderoga. Um, as you can see, I've only used a couple so far, but it's only been one week, so we'll see how many I end up using. But um, if you're looking for a pencil, you know, I kind of haven't been using mechanical pencils at all lately. I just really love these old school pencils. And then also, um, since... If you're like me and you procrastinate sometimes, so you end up having to stay up late and do your homework, you might want to try this refreshing eye cream. It's by Origins. And you just put a tiny little dot of it under your eye. It smells really good. Um, it'll kind of just brighten it up and it'll fight those dark circles. And actually, like, it literally feels like it's waking up my skin. And um, if you want moisturizer for your whole face, Origins has this like white tea moisturizer that also has that same like just awakening feeling so I love starting my day with that. Um, but moving right along because I have a ton of items so I'm going to try to go through these fairly quickly for you guys. Um, home items. Items around the home. Is that a category? I'm making that a category. So I'll start with my hand soaps. Um, as you can see I've already used some of them quite a bit. I have Cozy Vanilla Cream. That's in my kitchen. I haven't used it as much yet. Um, sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I've used this one a bunch. It smells amazing. I have that in my downstairs bathroom and then in my upstairs bathroom I have Pumpkin Cupcake and I've started using that quite a bit. This is my favorite scent I think of all of them. And speaking of Pumpkin Cupcake, um, in the fall time I like to light fall scented candles to make my whole dorm smell like fall. My favorite one has been the Pumpkin Cupcake. I've already burned it quite a bit. Um, I've also really been loving pumpkin apple. This is a great scent. Um, I like this one during the day. I don't know if it's just me, but I have like daytime scents and like nighttime scents. And for me, pumpkin apple is a daytime scent. But it just makes me feel, again, like I'm walking through an apple orchard or a pumpkin patch. So it's like very feng shui. I don't actually know what feng shui is, but what I would imagine it to be. Um, and then some more cozier scents or like nighttime-ish scents. Marshmallow Fireside is my favorite scent to light at night. If I'm up late, 
uh, watching a movie and like sipping hot cider or cocoa. It's just a very cozy scent. Or even if I'm up late reading for school or something. And then um, also leaves. Leaves to me smells like someone's making hot apple cider. And so it's just a very warm, cozy scent. And speaking of fall scents, I've been using my Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte body wash. And it's seriously like, I don't know, it makes me smile every time I take a shower. So that was a good choice, and if it runs out, I'll probably get more. Unless it's Christmas time, and then I will get a Christmas scent. And the last home item is this blanket. This is from Williams Sonoma Home. And what's cool about this blanket is it's bigger than, like, the standard size for a throw. So I think it's, like, a foot longer. So it literally can cover your whole body head to toe. It's also really soft, but because it's 50% lamel, it's also warm. And I just love cable knit. I have it in this color, and I also have it in cream. And I keep those on my couch so I can cuddle up when I'm watching Netflix. So moving right along into my more clothing items for fall. So first of all is my bean boots. Um, that's for great for rainy days you know, when you need like a weatherproof boot. And because I love matching because I'm super cheesy, I'm really excited that Bay has matching boots. How cute are we gonna be? So cute. I know, I can't wait. So yeah, those are kind of like, I think a staple piece. So, um, cause you don't have to worry about snow or rain. And I think they match like a lot of different things. I, I'll, I'll wear them with like anything. <laughs> and then also speaking of boots, I have been wearing these like every day. These are my Steve Madden Trooper boots. They just have like the zip up on the side. And then I just tuck the laces in on the front so that you don't really actually see a tie. And I wear them like really loose. I kind of can just like slip in and out of them. So that's how I wear them. Whatever works for you. But these are a great. I actually, um, so I, I think I mentioned I'm working while going to school. So it's kind of nice. I still get a paycheck. And with Part of one of my paychecks I got these boots in black and I'm just waiting for them to come in the mail so um, whether I'm wearing like a brown outfit or a black outfit um, these are just a great classic shoe that matches a lot of fall outfits and then next fall favorite which I think a lot of people have on their fall favorite list is football <laughs> I've already thankfully I've gotten to go throw the football with like some friends and with Alexander and I just love playing football, watching football, going to football games. I also like the fashion that is inspired by football in the fall. So a few of my favorite sportier fall pieces are, I've got this hat. I like to think that the A stands for apple, like Kristen Apple. It actually stands for Abercrombie, but I, when I wear it, it stands for apple. And then next, I love this jersey. I wore this a bunch last fall and I plan to wear it again this fall. In fact, I'll probably wear it this week to school. Um, but yeah, I. I got this at Abercrombie like maybe two years ago, but I really like it. And then also I love this hoodie. This is my favorite hoodie. I've never found another hoodie that I liked as much. And it's just like a football helmet on it. And it's just like for good for comfortable, lazy days. And then also sort of sport inspired, football inspired. I like this varsity jacket. Well, I love varsity jackets in general. I have three. But I think of the three, this is my favorite just because it's mostly plain navy, so it matches a lot of different outfits. And I got it at Forever 21. I don't remember how much it was, but I mean, it was probably like $20. Their stuff's not expensive. And I meant to mention when I was showing you guys my boots, another fall favorite is boot socks. Um, I've actually not worn these yet, obviously. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit colder, but I got several pairs of these like really tall boot socks to try wearing this year. And my mom texted me that she got me some boot socks and she's mailing them to my dorm, so I think I'll be good to go. And then I also have some shorter ones. So yeah, you definitely need boot socks to wear with your boots in the fall. And also, so for, I think I told you guys I spend a lot of my time just doing homework and being lame. Um, so you need comfy pants, or I think they're called at home clothes. I think that's what I heard someone call them. So for my at home clothes when I'm just like lounging, I have a bunch of sweatpants from Abercrombie. These are just a couple of my favorite ones though. And I think you can still get these at Abercrombie right now if you're interested. But they're just totally plain skinny sweatpants and then they kind of like cinch up at the bottom. 
And then I also have some that don't cinch at the bottom, whatever mood I'm in. And then what I always wear every day when I'm at home in my dorm, I have the Ugg Ansley slippers. They're just super comfortable and warm and like the floor is kind of hard. So I like wearing these so my feet aren't on the hard floor. And uh, there's so many things. Um, okay, so next moving to jackets. Um, when it gets really cold out, well not really cold, but colder than it is now, I've got a long twill olive green jacket with a hood. So this is great for when it's a cold fall day, but not like not as cold as like winter, you know, it's not like a full on parka. So it's still, it's still kind of lightweight. And then, um, but before then, for the less chilly days, I have these really light jackets. This one's sort of a olive green color and it's cropped and it's, I don't know if you call that like military style or boyfriend style. I have no idea, but I like it. I wear it a bunch. It's kind of hard to see it, but I have pictures of, a lot of pictures of me wearing this on my Instagram, which is at kristenapple24. And then th this is kind of the exact same jacket, but in navy, um, if navy matches my outfit better that day. But yeah, I'll have to post some pictures of these jackets because they're really cute, but it's hard to show you right now. And then finally, just the last few clothing items, starting with sweaters. So I need you guys help. I want a cream cable knit sweater for fall, and I bought two, but I'm only going to keep one. So just vote pony or no pony, because this cream one has like a little logo, pony logo on it. Um, otherwise, it's just a totally classic plain fitting cream sweater. This one is pretty much the same, exact same sweater, just a classic cream cable knit, but it has no pony. So please help me decide comment down below, vote pony or no pony, and help me decide and help me pick my cream cardigan for fall. And what I love about plain, totally plain colored sweaters is that you can mix and match like a million different scarves with them and make different fun outfits. Or you can layer different um, flannel or button down shirts underneath them. So I, I tend to get plain sweaters and then like layer them different ways. And then speaking of sweaters, I also got some fall cardigans. These are all pretty classic, um, but they're like long and le in length, like a boyfriend style cardigan. So I got olive green. I'll probably wear this to school this week. And one of the great things about these cardigans is I can wear them on days that I go to my internship and then go to school or go to school and then go to my internship. I can wear this to work and school. So those are really great. And they're lightweight. So in early fall when it's not super cold yet, these are good. Um, and then I also got the same one in navy and I got the same one in burgundy which I actually wore this the first day of school and it was really comfortable and I think really cute so I like that and then on my next fall essential I'm sure you could already guess is plaids or flannel button downs um tomorrow to school I'm gonna wear this one it's sort of like an orangey color and I have like a million of those so I won't show you all of my flannel. I'm kind of addicted to flannel. And then also for fall, I really love just solid color Henleys. I'll probably wear this this week to school. I have this same shirt in like five different colors. It's just really easy to throw on a basic Henley. And then if it's cold, you can throw a flannel over it or tie a flannel around your waist. Like this would look really cute with this tied around my waist. So yeah, lots of options there. And then last but not least, a couple pants. Um, I love darker wash jeans in the fall and I'm really excited about this pair from Hollister because it has like some slight destroy on it. So I'm actually wearing these destroyed jeans with this shirt and I think these boots tomorrow for school. So that would be like a, an example of a typical fall outfit for me for school. And then last but not least, I know I showed these in my Hollister haul. I love these burgundy pants from Hollister. They're easy to mix and match with a lot of different things. Um, I think they, I think burgundy looks really good with cream, but I mean, there's just, there's a lot you can wear with it and they're just really cute for fall. And I think they'll look cute with my fall boots. Maybe the black ones would look better, but yeah, I, I have to figure out how I want to style them exactly, but I really love those. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this huge fall favorites video and I'll see you next time.